Hey everyone, this is Roz, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. And uh, for this episode, I'd like you to tell me if the audio volume is okay. Um, I've upped the volume of my voice a little bit, so we'll see. Um... But anyway, now we're going to be playing as Gallows. He is the next character. I suppose it doesn't really matter. You have to do them all eventually anyway. Oh! So this guy's a new drifter. All right. What does that even mean? No, no, I obviously know, but. <laughs> Could that have been foreshadowing? Oh. What? He's reading the article. Must be that Arc Scepter article. Let's see what he says it says. The sacred artifact of Basker, known as the Arc Scepter, will be delivered via transcontinental train to Basker County. Lost in the wastelands? Don't want to perish horribly? Sounds like a job for Coal Whistle! Gallows? Um, that is totally not what it says. The article is talking about the item Coal Whistle. Did you fail English? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I always found that funny that they literally took the time to translate the article into a completely different article. Why? I mean, think about it. We're seeing a totally different article than what Gallus has seen. Does that mean we're crazy? Or is Gallows crazy? Huh. Well, let's go steal it, Gallows. Wait, what? You already have it? Well, that makes no sense. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get them both. And see which one's the real one. Oh, three months earlier. What's up, Gallows? <laughs> not me. That's not very nice. Yeah, that does seem pretty amazing. Yeah, why not? Just steal your village's treasure and then sell it. I'm sure they won't mind at all. Or punch the wall. That accomplished a lot. Yep, we'll never see that guy again. Southern Sanctuary? I wonder if it's in the south. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> that is not nice. And yet he already insulted her, and now you take notice, Shane. Augur? I assume that means enlighten, reveal. I've just never heard that word used before. I know what it means, but it's just kind of weird that they'd use that word. Sure it is, Gallows. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, dude. 
Nice hair. How much hair gel you think Gallows uses? Way too much? Okay, we got some... Oh, this is a memory figure. This is the save point. It's like the bird from... The save bird from um, Wild Arms 1. And... What the hell were the save points in Wild Arms 2? Save men? I don't know. And I don't remember what the save points were in Wild Arms 4 and 5 in towns. If there even were any in towns. Duh. Whatever. Well, we got some treasure to pick up first, so... Well, actually, first let's go... Trigger a cutscene! You can't leave town until you do this. Yeah. Well, of course. I mean, why? Why not? Oh, I guess he doesn't want her to know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, Gallows. That's that's great. You can talk to her again. And oh, the Fallen Sanctuary. Don't you forget it. Ah, no tools. Darn. I find it amusing that they start Jet with his tool, and not Virginia and Gallows. Um, right. Let's talk to this lady first. Okay. Um, to get- this lady gives you a number of items depending on what you say to her. If you're completely honest, she gives you a lot of items. If you're not as honest, she gives you some items. And if you lie completely, she gives you nothing. At least I think that's how it works. So, yeah, how'd you guess? Well, that's kind of gross. Yeah, you want to help me out? That's what you gotta say. And I want to run away and be free. Yeah, when you're rich and famous. Get five heal berries? Three gimma coins. Nice. Don't really care about the gimma coins, but the heal berries, I definitely care about. Hmm, chicken. And a dog. These animals, well, some of them actually have something you can use later on, but that's not for a long time. And let's go back into Gallus's house. Um, oddly enough, all of the main characters live inside houses with blue tops, with blue roofs, I mean. So that's kind of weird. I guess it's a way for the developers to mark their houses. And we get a revive fruit. Very useful. It's very hard to come by revive fruits early on. Um, where are we here? Okay, now we want to go into, I think, this house. This should have, I think, a heal berry in it. Yep. And there's another house we can loot. I forget which one, though. If only there were an item that let us see where items on the map were. There we go, there's another Healberry. Let's talk to Harold. Like the back of my hand. No, no, let's, uh... Yeah, the NPCs are pretty interesting in Wild Arms 3. Huh. So I guess that's why, uh... Well, I suppose we wouldn't know that yet, but... Well, we're about to see something, so I won't spoil it. Huh. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. What do you got to say? Oh, 
Oh, he's got a medium. Sorry, lady. Well, I can't seem to do anything, so... Oh, he does. He has a, an Aqua Wisp equipped. I'll go over that later. Um, there's one more item I can get. Right. This item, for the longest time, I did not know was there. Run into this totem pole, potion berry drops, pick it up. Yeah, that's a bastard move. Now this guy, you have to talk to. This is not optional. This is what this is one of the first stuck points people get into. You see, in Wild Arms 3, much like Wild Arms 2, you have to use the search system to find stuff. But the game doesn't let you search until you get the tutorial for it. But the only way to get the tutorial for it is to talk to this one NPC. Until then, hitting square does nothing. This can be a real bastard move if, like me, I talked to everyone my first time through, and my second time through, I didn't talk to this guy. So I went out and tried to search for it. I'm hitting square, and it's not letting me search. I'm like, what the hell? Because I didn't know that guy was required for you to actually be able to search, because I'd already talked to him the first time through before I even went outside of town. But now I can hit the square button and search. This looks like a nice place. I mean... What could possibly be- Whoa! What the hell is that? Um... A beach? What? That's right, folks. In Mild Arms 3, the ocean is sand. So clearly, something happened that, well, is not that good. And seems like an awful lot of barren wasteland out there. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that this is probably all green over here. Whoa, what the? Oh, let's fight a balloon. Why not? Yeah, just shoot balloons. They're easy. Now, Gallows has very low accuracy, so that's something you want to be aware of. Yeah, don't leave this grassy area. You'll die. Yeah, don't leave this grassy area or... Well, you'll encounter a large group of enemies that will kill you. Yeah, notice there was nothing marking where that was. Oh yeah, this game is a bastard. Um, there is a signpost over here that gives you a slight hint, but that's about it. So you can be lost for hours looking for where you're supposed to go. But this is the Fallen Sanctuary. It's where we want to be. I don't think there's too much treasure in here. No. No, not really. That's what she said. No. No. <laughs> yeah, Gallows has um, a medium equipped. It gives him Arcana or magic. Gallows is the mage of the game, for all intents and purposes. Now, I know his attack power looks like it's higher, but look at his aim. Look at his accuracy. That is pathetic. And his gun has plus five hit rate. That's really bad. Basically, Gallows ha fires eight shots. I think it's eight. Yeah, it's eight. But almost always, like, only one or two of them will hit. It's really bad. Well, guess we're stuck now. Can't go back. Oh, well. No, no, you just hit that and you're fine. There's a staircase there, but we're going to ignore that for now and get into a battle. And we're going to fight a pill bug. Let's shoot him first because, well... I got a preemptive strike, huh? Okay. Now, as you can see, I have Analyze. Um, this is your Arcana. I can't actually equip mediums right now, but this is Arcana over here. Yeah, it's not all together in one. It's two separate things now, which is kind of annoying. But um, Pressure is a water elemental spell. 
Refrigerate is an ice elemental spell, and unlike Wild Arms 2, there are no high level spells. Well, there are, but the way you have to use them is really weird. I'll get into that much later. Heal is your heal spell, but again, there's no high heal, so that's kind of a problem. Heal will very quickly be outclassed. Well, not very quickly, but eventually it will. And there's Analyze. Analyze, of course, analyzes the enemy. I'm gonna go ahead and use that just because. Heal cures um, your HP, of course. But yeah, that's, that's what Analyze does. Bosses would have question marks for um, HP, which is annoying. But Pillbugs are weak to ice, so go ahead and cast Refrigerate. Oh, if you hold Triangle, you get the descriptions. And so go ahead and cast Refrigerate on them, and that's really all you need to do. Now, Arcana does not build FP when you hit an enemy with it, which really sucks. And every time you kill an enemy with an elemental attack, you get a gem. Now, gems go have an entirely different formula from Arcana itself. Basically, if you're under 36 FP, I think it's 36 FP, Arcana will do less than a gem. But if you have more than 36 FP, Arcana will do more than a gem. That's not really that important, but it's something to keep in mind. And, of course, your magic also gets a boost from having higher FP. And, of course, we have block puzzles in Wild Arms 3. We have some really bastard moves of block puzzles, but luckily that's not for a little while. Or a long while, but... Yeah. What's this over here? Why, it's a passage with... Three treasures. Give him a coin. Freezer doll. And a healberry. Freezer doll, you just hold square and you can put out torches and stuff. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, don't use that gimmel coin yet. It's given to you very early into the dungeon for some reason. I don't know why. Not that this area is particularly long. Stand in the middle, put them all out. Simple. Uh, simple. Come on, no battles? What the hell happened to the encounter raid? I need to get some ice gems here. Come on. You want to have about... I don't know, a good... Oh, there's two kill bugs. A good eight ice gems, ten to be safe. Yeah, I see. I only hit five times for that out of eight shots, and these guys have very low evasion, and they're dodging my shots. That's pathetic. We'll end this battle, and uh, that'll be it for now. But yeah, it's really important that you get some ice gems. Now, if a treasure chest appears at the end of battle, and you don't open the chest. For some reason, you lose the gems you would have gotten, which is really annoying. You can also kill an enemy with a gem to regain the gem. So, yeah. It only works if you kill an enemy with an element, though. That's the only way you can get the, you can get an ice gem. Like, if I wanted water gems, I'd have to kill an enemy with pressure. Or another water gem. Another water gem. So, yeah. Uh, we'll solve this puzzle, and that's about it. Huh. Well, simple here. We're at the 20 minute mark, so solve this, and that's it. There we go. So uh, next time we'll continue through this area. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.